Hey everyone, Solar Primal here. Welcome back to Pokemon Platinum. In the last part, we defeated Team Galactic in the Valley Windworks place. I remember the name this time. So, with that being done, we can finally continue heading out to Eterna City. So, let's just keep on doing that. That guy's gonna talk about honey, and I don't care. I'm gonna try and get around this guy, which is very easy apparently. So... And there we go. <laughs> Alright, so there's an item there. We have to battle this trainer. And Abra's gonna evolve in the next battle. So, this might as well be worth it. I actually could dodge him, I just realized that. But who cares? There's no mountain here. But I'm dressed to hike. Gahaha, <laughs> here it goes. You're dressed to hike, so let's battle. Good. Let's, you know what, let's just battle. What have you say, dude? With your Geo Dude and your other Pokemon that I don't know what you have yet, because because I don't have a cheat sheet in front of me or anything like that. I just know you got Rock type Pokemon. That's all that matters to me. So Psyduck, go, do your thing. He's gonna increase his defense. So what? We got Water Gun. We can take care of that, no problem. Don't think you need the Quick Claw to activate, but that's okay. Yeah, uh, one hit KO. Reminiscing about the first gym leader again. Mm-hmm. Took care of that, no problem. Oh yeah. Someone's gonna gonna have some magic happen in the next little bit here. So I'm just gonna keep uh, Psyduck out for this next little bit here, so Psyduck can gain some levels too, because we need him level level 18. That'd be nice. If we can get him up there, but we'll see. Okay. Good. Another one hit KO, and you get all the experience this time, dude. Facing this guy with Geo dudes. Come on, sweep him. Yeah, he doesn't need the quick claw to activate with Geo dudes. You're already faster. There you go. Hey, maybe you'll gain level up. Probably not, but we'll see. Ooh, that's close. That was very close. Oh well. You'll get it. Don't worry. We got more important things. Uh, reminisce on right now. Like Abra evolving! Rainbows and shit. Yeah! Yeah! Sweet. And you like confusion. Hex, yes, his first attack! And it'll be powerful. Like no one ever was. Oh, item. Another crappy item like that. Fantastic. You'll be sold later. Okay, so this gal is doing circles. I believe. Yeah, I can get around this person, no problem. Oh, I should go down. I do this every time. I'm like, oh, I should take the hard route first. Oh, and then, yeah, there's the item right there. So, yeah. Good. Go on me. Okay, so... This lady rotating, do not run around her, because she will be like, Oh, who's running? And then look at you immediately. I think I can skip this person. Yep. No problem. You pick up this item. Ah, heal ball. Yeah. Could have bought those in the last town. But heal balls do. Well, actually, one sec. So basically what heal balls do is after you catch the Pokemon, it heals them to full HP. Instead of having them at whatever HP you had them at. Kind of a novelty, but yeah, that's kind of cool too. Because when the, the ball opens up, it's a different thing. Eh. It's preference, really. I'm going to see if I can battle this person real quick, and if not, I'll meet you back at the bridge here. Okay? So BRB. Haha, there was an item here. Haha. I knew it. Okay, so we're back at the bridge. I did battle all those trainers down there off screen, as I like to put it. So, yeah. Gained a few levels from that. And I think I can get past this dude because he's not going to look up at all. Whoa. Oh, dodge that one too. Haha. <laughs> can battle her if we want to, but I don't feel like it. Oh, no! <laughs> Whoopsie. That was my fault. My bad. 
Okay, so, whoopsie. She just had my chop. No big deal. I think I can dodge this person too. I should be able to. Yeah. Yeah, I did. Uh, what's down here? Ooh, another item. Fantastic. Ooh, super potion. Those are better than a regular potion for those none that know. So, I think in here we can get our Pokemon healed up, which is actually pretty nice. Talk to this lady, right? You look tired, rest a while. Why don't you rest a while? There we go. What does this guy have to say? Repels, blah blah blah. Yeah. If you pull up a repel, you can't run the Pokemon, and then you can't catch them. So, what's fun in that? I don't know. Let's see. I think we go up here. And yeah, this is her forest, but we can't get through there yet. I don't think this guy can battle. He's just gonna talk about the forest. Mainly poison by the Pokemon to turn first, make the home. If you don't have any answers, what should I do? Do I just press on or do I go back? I don't know. The economy and everything. Ah sorry. Well uh yeah, so I don't know. I really don't know there, bud. I wanna battle this gal down here real quick, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I got that battled. So let's jump right into you turn to forest. Oh, and there's a person there. Who's this? Hello there. My name is Cheryl. And you are? Okay, so your name is Gordon. I'm sincerely glad to meet you. Gordon, may I ask a favor of you? I want to get through this forest, but I'm afraid of doing it alone. I heard that there is a sinister group of people called Team Galactic about. I think there's uh, safety in numbers. May I go through with you? I didn't even say yes, but hey. I'll keep your Pokemon in perfect health. So, yeah, we have a little partner here. Well, we get the Return of Forest. Not that we need it, but hey, don't have to use items thanks to her. Speaking of items, that's an antidote. And also, since we're here, might as well explain. If you run into any battles or have any trainer battles, they should be a double battle. So, you will see me going out of my way to get tra uh, double battles out of these as much as I can. These are just wild Pokemon, but that's the idea. Since you have your partner with you here, she will help you out in every way she can. She has a Chansey, so she we already have a physical wall that way, and she'll probably heal me as well. But, yeah, that's basically it. I'll cut back to when this is done. So, yeah. I'm not sure this is a trainer battle. Yeah, he's searching for bug Pokemon. Because bug types are weak against grass taps. Did you know? And this is a cool little thing over here. It's called Moss Rock. Might come in handy later. Who knows? We might interact with that later. Who knows? Let's see here. Cool, got a level up in that battle. Uh, I want to see what's down here. Nothing. Okay. Alright. Nothing happened there. So, here we're getting forced into a double battle, so that's okay. So let's go ahead and partake in this. That's cool, you may ask. No. Uh, I tell you anyway, bug Pokemon. Ah. Cool. We're gonna go on a power walk. So obviously the one guy's a bug catcher, the other one is a... Uh, last. Okay. Anyways. So, yeah, of course. The one has bug Pokemon. And the other one has, well, whatever she wants. That's okay. So, the bug Pokemon are weak against fire as well, so... No problem. Just take it out like that. And the Pajirisu is a... Bit higher level than the other one, so this might hurt. Depends who it hits. And hit Chansey, so... Ooh, you got paralyzed. That sucks for you. There we go. Egg bomb, no problem. Um, I don't need to be a bit of a jerk, and I'm going to take out the one person first. It's, uh, you know, when you're facing two trainers, if you take out all three of their Pokemon first, then they won't be able to do anything after that. And then if you take out... Oh, jeez. If you take out... Then you'll be just stuck with the one person, and then they'll be easy to focus down when you work as a team. But let's see if our ch if the or if Cheryl's Chansey's gonna make it, because it doesn't look like it. Not looking too hot there, Chansey. 
Not that Chansey's are hot, but you, you know what I mean. Oh, good. Padrisio's going to use that move. You're that kind of guy, aren't you? Gus, this will probably hurt me a lot. Yeah. Because it's a flying type move against a fighting type. Softboil. Clever. How much is that going to heal, though? Yeah, okay. Quite a bit. Good on you. So, this is going to hurt. Whoever it hits. Oh. Oh, you're still storing energy. My bad. Next turn. This is going to hurt somebody. There we go. Another level up. Fantastic. Keep it going. Flame wheel. Hell yeah. Going to change Ember. Because Ember only does 40. Flame wheel 60. Thank you. Uh, this early on doesn't really matter on special type versus uh, physical damage. But later on it will matter. And I believe... I got lucky this time, this uh, Solar Prime is actually a physical fighter, so getting physical moves will help. I had a plan B just in case it was going to be focused on special attack, because there is a move like Mock Punch out there, I think it's called Vacuum Wave. Works like Mock Punch, almost to a T, except it's a special uh, type move. So yeah, that wouldn't have benefited me greatly. I had see I had that strategy all along, because I'm clever like that, you know. Don't be hating. Uh cool, another item. And I ain't kidding when she says she'll take care of our Pokemon. Uh look at that, full health. And look at the PP for the moves. They're back to full. So yeah, they're all set for that. Ooh. Another level up coming up too. Probably we'll just get it from this grass right here. And so we did. There we go. Easy pleasy lemon squeezy. And we got these guys here. Okay. Let's do this. Bring it on. I think you have psychic type, so I'm a little bit worried about this. But we'll see what they actually have. They might have psychic type, they might have some ghost types. Who knows? If they have more than one, then I'll be uh, able to combat that pretty easy. Oh, they got one each. And they have an Abra and an Abra. Fantastic. Because you know what that means? Easy experience. Because we all know what Abras have for their movesets. And that's the only sad part about an Abra. Despite them looking pretty freaking cool, looking like they could, you know, even in their back anime uh, sprite, they look like they're ready to fight. They're like, hell yeah. Except for this one, you. Hidden power? Son of a bitch. Ow. That was a fighting move. Very good combination to have on an Abra, actually. That's smart. Good for you. Good for you to be able to get that hidden move for that. That's good. It's too bad you're gonna faint now, though. Keep at it, though. Maybe one day you'll become the champion. Nope. Not when you stay here. But, in reality, competitively, that's a good hidden move to have on an Abra. Alright, so we have more of this grass to get through. And, hmm. See if we can get this item without running the Pokemon. Yay! Ooh, a netball. That is actually really handy in this place. Okay. I think we're on the right path. But, uh. I think we can go this way. I think what we'll do is. I'm gonna battle these guys off screen. And then we'll just continue moving along past this point. Okay, so be right back. Okay, so just past those guys. Ooh, there's an item. Let's see if I can get it. Yay, got it. And you, bop, fuck. Yeah, I can't remember what I was going to say because I keep running into Pokemon. Okay, there's another double battle. I think if we went up there, we could have... We can go up that way and dodge it, we can go up. As I was trying to say, we can go around them. So, it's up to you. I'm going to go through them, but I will cut to when I get to the other side since you are able to get around them no matter what. So, I'll be right back. Alright, so here we are. So, that wasn't too bad. Now we just got to get through this last patch over here. And... Aha, we made it. Alright. Wait, is that the last patch? Nope. 
All right, we got past that. Oh, the item is so tempting. Mmm, green shard. Be sure to try and collect those best you can, because those are very helpful items. Now, there's something up here, but again, we don't have the ability to get through there yet, so let's just keep going along. Oh, there's the exit. I'm so relieved. We finally got here. Me too. I would have never have been able to get to through this by myself. Thank you so much, Gordon. This is a token of my appreciation. Please take it. Ah, Sooth Bell. Awesome. It's actually going to come in handy with something maybe later. It can. I'm sure we'll meet again somewhere. Bye for now. Hey, that's my catchphrase. You, get back here. What the Sooth Bell does, it just kind of speeds up the growth of happiness with the Pokemon. So it comes in handy, especially with the evolution stuff. But yeah, I know there's uh, some berries over here. No, there isn't. I thought there was some berries over here. My bad. I'm just a little bit crazy. Sometimes I get high with out of control with my rams. Good God, good dude, lose that. Oh, I am doing raps right now. Okay, I'm gonna skip all these guys, cause, cause can. And I can battle those guys off screen later. They're just a bunch of fishers, cause you know. There's the berries. Okay, one sec. You know this empty patch of grass here was a little suspicious to me, so I had a feeling. It was an item. Cool. Ah! I will like to mention too, uh, if you are behind on levels when you're playing through on this game, I highly suggest taking advantage of hanging out with Cheryl like that because free heals, she's like a walking poke center right after every battle. So, by all means, take advantage of that. And here we are. Finally. Made it to Eternal City. Alright. Sweet. Okay, anyways. So I'm gonna head over to this Poke Center. And then that should be it for this episode. And then next part we'll look around Eternal City for a bit. Maybe Battle Gym Leader, who knows? So until then you guys, this is Solar Prime signing out. And, bye for now.